What's up guys? Alex here. I'm here to share you some tips and tricks in Plasticity, this new software that I just found out and it's really awesome. Let's get started. First, I'm going to give you a shortcut. Command B or Control B and you will see much more. And press it again and you'll get everything back. So let's start. The first one would be parallel lines. I want to create a parallel line with this one. So I press Shift A, I select the line and now I want to create it. I want to start it here but you can see I don't have a construction line. So if I go to this vertice and I press Shift I get a construction line and I press another one and I can start from here. Okay, now I'm starting the line, but how do I get the parallel line? I need to press shift here at the end of the line and I will get the parallel lines. See how awesome is that? So now we have some parallel lines. Let's see the other one. Here I want to see I want to teach you how can you join these two lines? For example, you want to extend the line, but you don't know how. You press 1, so you switch to vertice selection. You select the two vertices and press S to scale. And now press V and press Shift on a line and Shift on the other line. And now you click on the intersection and press S to scale it up and down. See? and with keyboard pressed we have them and I can select the two press J to join and now one again B and I can bevel it good awesome so now I want to extend this line here so let's see how we do that we go back to the one press scale press V, shift and I press here and now with scale I have it over there see how awesome is that? good so let's see what's next so we have this one I'm gonna open it up you will see it's a shit so it's not a solid even if I select it, everything, it's we don't have holes. But how do we check to see where is the problem? So with that you can press F and search Find Boundary Edges. See? I'm gonna have it over there. So the problem is there so you know where to work at. So to fix it. And by the way, if you press F see here you can select all the stuff that you were using repeatedly so you right click on it and add the favorite or you can assign a shortcut if you want next one drawing on a invisible plane so I press shift A again and I want to draw on this plane but maybe I want to do it here somewhere in the air so I hover the plane the face I press shift and I start and I don't release the shift until the last one where, where I close it and now you can see it's on the same plane on the same face some not on the same face but on the same plane so like it's extended see how awesome is that good but yes so here is the origin and I want to put it back to the origin maybe you want to mirror something or something different so you press G to move and press F and now you just right click no, you press G, F, F and now you right click see so G, I put it where I want it so if I want to take it back I press G, F, 
F and then right click and it's back on its place good let's see how we can duplicate maybe you want to build something and you have something constructed and you want to put it on a plane so we have this one and I want to put it on all the faces all the planes and I press Control D and with Alt Z you can enable to hide through or not and I select over here and you see I'm taking it and over here I press F so it will switch and with the right click I accept it so see how fast I can build and with the escape key you just cancel find scale and fill it let's press 3 select these two faces and with this one I scale them but I want to scale them very precisely so if I press shift look I'm moving the mouse fast and I, when I press shift it's very smooth you can even see in the numbers it's like going slowly 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 and the same is happening also when I bevel see you want to know where you want to stop and uh, another awesome trick for filleting if I select this and I want to fill it see it's small but I can select this fillet and it will duplicate the same size as here doesn't matter where I go I select and it gives me the same fillet good so let's imprint I want to cut the hole in this tube so now I press shift I I select where and I select a curve and now I have it I press 3 and with shift X I delete and I have a hole inside isn't that awesome separate let's show you how you can separate a face if you wanna take it away you press 3 to select faces and if I try to move it I cannot it will expand another way I can shift D to duplicate it but I will still have the original I can do this and then delete this one or I can press Alt J I press GG and I moved it and put it back Control Z construction planes let me see we have an interesting shape here I want to build something on this one and uh, I want to view it like precisely in the in the angle like that so I can press the plane click it and then press space and with the space I have it perpendicularly to me so each plane I'm selecting it's like perpendicular to the viewer and I can draw I can do what I want see another awesome thing if for example I want to cut a hole from here a circle if I try to create a circle here it will do it on that face but I want to create it from here so for that I press control space and it's creating a temporary construction plane and now if I create a circle we can see through yeah the circle is there let's make it again so we make a circle like this and I can uh, 
expand it. See, it's in boots, but now it's not a solid. So to make it a solid, you select this end, you patch it with this one. I have it set to tilde key. I select this one, I patch it, and now for the boolean operation I press 4, I select the first one out of which I want to cut and then what I want to cut out. I press Q and I have it. And if I want to do the reverse I select this and out of the tube I want to cut out this. With shift clicking I press Q and then it's the the reverse. So that's it. Q. And if I wanna want to combine them, I just press Q and Q again. And now I can do interesting stuff. I can uh, fillet this. See, they are together. Let's see. Curve array. Yes you can make this ball go along the curve. How you do that? You press F Curve Array You select what you want and then you select the path. Here I can select how many balls do I want and I can even twist them but you will not see because it's a ball, it's a circle and I can also scale them. I can scale them down like that, see? And uh, yeah, this is this is a nice one. Select edges. I want to select the five edge edges around this one, and with the edges selected, like number two, see if I hover on one edge, I can click, press Control Alt, and if I move, it's gonna be like loop edges somehow. I mean, like what's around that see because I can also do this here so yeah that's fun because you can select them fast and bevel and uh, the last one we have this tube and we want to extrude it along this line or in a different direction I press 3 I select the face extrude and with the extrusion C it's not going in the right direction so I press extrude I press F and then I select the path and I can go how long I want so that was it some valuable tips I use them every day when I model stuff in plasticity please like subscribe share and thanks for watching guys see you in the next ones Bye.